this tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Started with animation. Hello, a little experiment with camera animation and a problem with keyframing camera movements. First of all, we need something which we have a reference on the ground. So we create a ground. When you create a NURPS plane as a ground plane, you can go to the attribute editor and in the make NURPS plane, you find a very handy thing which is called width. And uh, we want right mouse click a new material in order to get an or a geometrical orientation here. For example, in Arnold standard surface shader, we click here to see the texture and uh, color. We map the color with a grid and I usually turn the colors around. So I have more white than black. And in this case, we make the lines a little bit thinner. Now we can deactivate the grid and we have a ground plane. Complicated? Well, maybe. Uh, now we need some kind of geometry and I think it's good to have a text. For example, an at sign and uh, which we can scale down like this and give it another color, for example, red. Do this with a standard surface shader and I just choose red here. So this is our scene, oh horrible red. Um, we create a camera now and we want the camera to sort of rotate a little bit around this at sign. That's what we want. So let's extend the frame range to maybe 200 frames, which is uh, about uh, four, eight seconds. And um, the easiest way to create a standard camera is to go here to view and create a camera from that view. Currently you see perspective camera, the, the, the word down here, and it's the uh, ca standard camera which is here grayed out because we don't need to see it. It's uh, our tool to visualize the scene. But when you create a camera from the view, you see perspective one now, which is this one. And let's rename this to our cam. So we have our cam now. We're looking through the scene with our cam now. We go to the very beginning of the animation. That's frame number one. And set a keyframe. That's the key S. Because we want to start our animation here. Now we go to the very end of the animation. We turn our camera around and maybe go a little bit further away like this and we set another keyframe. Uh, keep in mind you need to keyframe the camera so if you inadvertently select the at sign or the ground plane or anything else uh, you need to reselect the camera and set the keyframe now. S. We're at frame 200. The camera needs to be here. And here comes the frustrating thing. The camera ignores our interest in the at sign. That's because we did not tell the camera to properly look at the at sign. If you do this in a more complicated way like this, set a keyframe here, uh, it will get really messy. And now you can try to fix this by going to, for example, this position and setting a keyframe here, readjusting the position, you see. This looks much better now. Now you need to readjust it again. Maybe get a little bit further away now. I do this in a very crude way. But you see the camera moves in a way that it makes you seasick. So for very simple animations where the camera does not make drastic motions like here, you can use this method. Just set a keyframe for the very beginning and the very end and then 
intermediate keyframes. But for more complex animations like these, it just doesn't look n nice. I made a tutorial about four ways to animate a camera in principle. One way is to set the camera on a motion path, which is um, a very valid and often used technology and technique. But um, here I want to show you the most simple approach for a topic like this. Let's create from that view a new camera. It's called our Cam1 now. Let me rename it to our Great Cam. Now we want to change the camera's properties. We want to create a camera with a name. It's actually created already, but the aim is not there. But now it is. Now all of a sudden you have a group here, our Great Cam group. And underneath is our uh, Great Cam aim. And the aim sits here. And that's a very interesting thing. So all we need to do is we go to the very beginning of the animation. For example, go back here. This is the camera we pre previously had. For example, we, we want to reveal the ad design, say and start with this view here from the top like a drone shot we set a keyframe from the, for the camera and not for the aim so we press s and uh, now we go to the very end of the animation and position the camera right here to reveal the ad and set another keyframe for our great cam not for the aim because the aim needs to sit always at the same location. How about that? What a smooth motion, but not exactly what we want. Why is that? Because of that little dot here. That's the aim. And we didn't set the, the aim properly because the aim needs to stick or sit in the center of the scene here. It currently sits here. And we don't need to keyframe that because it's um, sitting there. If the A moves, the at design moves, we would definitely move the aim as well. But here you see a very nice way to animate this kind of thing in a very, very short time. Have a nice day. Bye bye.